All right, hey everyone, it's Wednesday, May 12th. The time right now is 4.54 p.m. and the temperature is a rather nice 17 degrees Celsius. I'm here at the intersection of Rogers Road and Keel Street. And there's a look north up Keel. And there's a look east along Rogers Road. And the plan for this one is to head east along Rogers over to Oakwood Avenue. And there is the Golden Wheat Bakery. That's a rather popular Portuguese bakery in this neighborhood. Rogers Road begins just to the west of here at Weston Road. And this is a part of the city I have yet to explore on this channel. In fact, this is my first time ever coming through here on foot. I passed through here in a vehicle a few times and on my bike, but I've never explored this area by foot. I think this walk should be somewhere around three kilometers or so. This neighborhood is known as Silverthorn. It's mostly a working class area. And Rogers Road itself is mostly lined by locally owned businesses. There doesn't appear to be a lot of corporate chain stores here. St. Matthew's Barbecue Chicken. And Silverthorne is roughly bound by the Berry Go Train line to the east, which we'll be walking past. And Black Creek Drive to the west. And just north of Eglinton Avenue to the north, and I think just south of here on Rogers Road to the south. And they have a North of Brooklyn pizzeria here. That's now a local chain. I think I've seen four other locations. I'm trying to recall where I've seen them. I know there's one on Geary Avenue which isn't too far to the south of here. I've also seen one on Church and Queen West and Dundas West. And there's a Nova Bakery. And I think Rogers Road bends to the left here. So this is the start of Old Weston Road. And then I'll head south down to St. Clair and then south of St. Clair. I think I've started a cycling video off on that once and went down to Davenport. Well, 
Oh, this guy's going for it. Maybe I should have pressed that. You can see the rail tracks off in the distance there. This area definitely has a bit of an old school vibe to it. it certainly hasn't been subjected to the forces of gentrification. Well, I'm sure that'll eventually come to this area. Let's cross over to the north side of the street here. So outside of English, Portuguese, Italian, and Spanish are the primary languages spoken in this area. I've seen it referred to as being a second Portuguese enclave in the city. The main one being Little Portugal to the south. This is Kane Avenue. Most of these houses were built between 1914 and 1930. I would guess some of these retail buildings are from the same era. There's really not a lot of chain stores here. There's the popular supermarket. And it was requested by a Patreon member that I come up and do a walk along Rogers Road. Sorry for taking so long to get around to it. There's a look up one of the residential streets. That was Rose Thorn Avenue. This is really kind of a neat area. To get here, I took the 32 Eglinton bus over to Keel Street. And I hopped on that bus, I think it was the 41, down to Rogers Road.
Rogers Supermarket. There's the World Mission Society Church of God. So I think the retail activity dies down a bit. Not that there's much going on right now with most of the businesses shut. Although the good news on that front is the cases continue to plummet. So hopefully by the end of the month maybe we can start to see the economy get rejuvenated. Here's the go line. That's a commuter rail system. And I think that'll go up to Downsview Park. And it'll head north up to Barry. All those trucks got tagged, it looks like. St. Nicholas of B-A-R-I Catholic School. I'm sure if I try to say that, I'll get it wrong. So we are to the northwest of downtown. There's a street that's mostly a laneway. It's got the backside of a lot of those properties. I think this is the old city of York, which amalgamated into Toronto in 98. Well, the mega city of Toronto. So I think this is Caledonia coming up. And the next major street after that will be Dufferin. And then Oakwood. There's a check cashing store, a place called Reggio, probably a hair salon, a chiropractor office or a chiropractic office, and Mike's Men's Hairstyler. And here's a school. Can't quite see any signs for it. is F.H. Miller Junior Public School.
Oh, I can cross. A 161 Rogers Road bus. I think that starts at Ossington Station and makes its way west over to Jane. There's another street of garages. I know I'm in Toronto, it just doesn't really feel like it. That's part of the charm, it's such a large and diverse city. So many different neighborhoods. And this, I think, is Prospect Cemetery. This place is absolutely huge. It spans to the north at Eglinton and it goes south all the way down to St. Clair. It opened up in 1890. And it's the final resting spot for over 170,000 people. Or at least they were people. Let's take a quick peek inside. So it's a rather long and narrow cemetery. And this is the first in what's supposed to be a pretty good string of nice weather days. So perhaps I'll find my way down to the Toronto Islands at some point over the next week or so. We do have a member's request in to cover that along with the ferry ride. thinking of doing a live stream right after this. The weather's certainly nice enough and I don't really have anything else to do today. The alternative would be to go home and do a bicycle live stream.
This is Harvey Avenue, H-A-R-V-I-E. Should we be surprised? That's a Mercedes. I wonder how long it'll be till we start seeing laneway homes pop up on those streets. And there's one of the weirdest looking park spaces I've ever seen. I'm guessing there used to be a building there. And it was leveled. Doesn't have any type of formal sign or name. This was obviously a very popular way to develop homes back then. Alternate between regular streets and laneways. some road work going on. And this is Earl's Court Avenue. So not too far south of here is Earl's Court Park. It'd be a little southwest of here, I guess. And directly south of here, I think would be the Corso Italian neighborhood. That would be Toronto's second Italian enclave. And that would be along St. Clair. Bozo's Mexican. Someone's got a nice outdoor trampoline. Oh, this is Day Avenue. So just south of here is the smallest house in the city of Toronto. I did a walk up Dufferin that passed through there. You just type Toronto's smallest house into YouTube. And maybe Johnny, you should be able to find that video. Or if I remember to, I'll link it in the description, but it's just down there to the right. And it was featured on the Ellen Show, which I just read today. She has decided to hang it up. It's 
certainly a nice blue sky today. And here's Dufferin Street coming up. So to the north of here along Eglinton would be the Little Jamaica neighborhood. That's not officially recognized as Little Jamaica, but I've been fairly vocal in stating that it should be. This part of Dufferin Street has a very similar feeling to Rogers Road. There goes the 929. That'll be heading down to Dufferin Gate. There's a look north up towards Eglinton. So this is the most major east to west street that runs between Eglinton and St. Clair. And it does have bike lines. I'm not sure when these went in. But neither Eglinton or St. Clair are particularly appealing options to cycle across. So it's definitely a good thing that these are here. St. John Bosco Roman Catholic Church. There's an interesting row of apartment buildings to the south of here. In the area to the south of here is known as St. Clair West Village. And to the north it's known as Oakwood Vaughn. I think this walk will be terminating at the famous Five Points intersection. Yeah. I do not know how people can wear a heavy coat like that. It's 17 degrees. I'm wearing a long sleeve t-shirt and got my sleeves rolled up. I would be dripping with sweat if I was wearing that thing. Oh, and someone has their smoker or barbecue going. That smells really good.
And this is Glen Home Avenue. I was originally thinking about heading over to Mimico this afternoon. I got a bit of a late start to my day. That's quite a trek. But it turns out it probably took me almost as long just to get to this area. This is when I wish I could pop into a cafe or a bar and have a nice cold drink before I sit out and film some more. There goes the 161. And this is Oakwood just up ahead. So let me know your thoughts on this one down below in the comments. Certainly enjoy coming up and seeing new parts of the city. Well, new to the channel. Juicy is it sandwich and cafe? And here we go. This is Oakwood and Rogers Road. So I think what I'll do is I'll end this video here in Oakwood Village and I'll head up to the Five Points intersection on my live stream. And then maybe I'll just walk south down Vaughn Road. So thank you for watching. Let me know your thoughts and comments down below if you wish to support the channel. There's a link to my Patreon in the description. I also have channel memberships available on my main YouTube page itself. And I have an Instagram account I have not updated for a very long time. And I still need a haircut. As you can obviously tell. Anyways, thanks for watching and I will catch you on the next one.